Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch Channel over here at the home place. Uh, out here at break of dawn, we are doing some calf weaning. This is the first time I've ever done any weaning, so it's been a little noisy. Separated out the calves yesterday and just trying to check on everyone, make sure everyone's okay. So um, let me show you the setup we're working with. So here at the home place, we've got a temporary corral with our Q-catch set up right here. And we've got the cattle right across the driveway here. One observation is, um, you know, when these guys are out in the big pasture, sometimes sometimes these six-month-old calves would nurse on their moms, but it seems like the moms don't pay much attention to them. But boy, you separate them out, they sure get upset. So the rest of the herd is down in the meadow. Here's 4907, 4021, and 1858. Ear tag numbers, and there are three calves over here. Two are bull calves and one's a steer. We're actually gonna be selling the bull calves. So, kind of sad to sell them. You get used to have them on the ranch, but we're getting a little noisy here. So, we'll see how the next couple days goes. Daybreak here now. The tune seems to have increased between the calves and the mom. So, hopefully, they'll they'll get here for the next day or so. It'll be loud. Maybe they'll start simmering down. But yeah, I gave the herd a pretty good size area. Just letting them graze this hillside down into the meadow. So on a beautiful Sunday morning. I want to show you these two little yearling steers that we've got. These guys, I guess, could be labeled the B team. Uh, they're not on, on the docket for this year, but they're on the docket for next year. So these are South Pole steers. So they are doing really well. Staying real fat. They seem like they're not too tall of an animal. It's interesting. Um, so these guys are about 15 months old. The Wagyu bulls that we're weaning off are actually taller than these guys. So it's interesting to see them standing next to each other. But yeah, they're nice little boys. But they are going to make some good, good, uh, good grass finished beef. So they're here grazing some some brome on the on the hillside here. So we do have to uh, wean off a couple more calves over at the Carter James. We've got three South Pole calves that we need to wean off here at the end of September. And at that time, I'll be, I'll be bringing Belle and Bree over to the, the ranch to meet up with the South Pole herd. And that's where, where they'll get ingrained into. So kind of glad to get them out from running with the sheep, but also we'll miss having them here at the house. But we need to get them kind of moving on to being with the herd and not being with the sheep. So, yeah, 634. He's turned out to be a real nice little steer. Oh, sorry, did I scare you? So, beautiful se September here. Temps are starting to dip in the evening. Down the low 60s, upper 50s. Today we're going to be about 87 or 88 degrees. So, it is... Uh, Getting to be a beautiful time of year. So let's see here. 759J. She is one of our heifers. Been watching. She's got some mucus in the back here. She's looking a bit puffy. Let's see if we can look at her, her bag. Look at her teats. You know, these Wagyu don't really show much on the bag. Sometimes they'll show a little bit in the back. Yeah, she's definitely a little swollen back there. So I'm going to have to be on calf duty watching her need to check on uh number 71 and 4907j so, so they, they were all in, uh, artificially inseminated on december 15th so we're kind of in the in the go go time here in the next week or two i will also be curious since they were all bred on the same day inseminated on the same day i'm real curious to see if they all calve within a day or two of each other so it's always nice to know on that AI and exactly which day they were bred. So well, I've got their water trough filling up over here and I saw 4021. She's one of the mamas walking over this way. So I just thought I'd come up and see if I could give her a little pet and console her. You doing okay, mama? Yeah, make sure you get plenty to eat, okay? I know it's kind of stressful. I'm sorry. She's a good cow. 
good cow. So her daughter is 4907J, the one I just mentioned, that is going to be calving here pretty soon. It's interesting, within the herd, we have several generations of mothers and daughters so and sisters. So it's interesting to see how they're all developing and they're all really nice demeanored. Here's our newest calf. She's two weeks old, I believe. Yeah, two weeks old. So mama's doing well, little calf is doing well, little heifer. She's not as jumpy as she used to, which is which is good. She's kind of calming down. A little, little still a little unsure, but she's doing well. And here's a 707J. He's our steer. Yep, that's you. Good boy. His time on the ranch here is almost over. He'll be leaving the ranch next next month in October. So we'll go check these waters and we'll catch up with you a little later today. But I was heading by the corral, so I figured I'd just do a little footage of these guys. So 1858 here, he's a, we made him a steer. He's actually one that's going to be staying with us. We're going to be feeding him out. But I decided to make him a steer just because he's real athletic and real jumpy. And I figured we needed to not, not, uh, not leave him a bull. But these guys are pretty upset here. So, But they're looking good. I'm... I'll be honest with you, we've got them in this temporary corral here that attaches with these pins. And these guys are actually strong enough. I actually think they could probably get out of here if they really wanted to. But hopefully they don't want to. So I'm hoping they calm down here. Um, you know, typically if, if we were leaving them in the herd, I actually probably would not wean them. I like it when the mamas wean them off. 1858. Her mama's really started weaning, her, weaning him off. He started trying to suck the other day, and I saw her run away and not let him. These other two, their moms continue to let him, let him nurse. So we need the moms to dry up, and we need to get these guys used to being away from mom since we're going to be selling them. So it be, might be a loud day here. The one nice thing over here at the Carter James, we're not weaning calves, so it's not so dang loud. But I uh, had to pull out the Tacoma today, the old 01 Tacoma. This is the, the truck we kind of use for the, uh, around the ranch to unroll hay. So pulling this thing out, letting it run a little bit. We need to get into the get an oil change on it. Need to get the emergency brake replaced. That thing stopped working. So just starting to prep for, for winter here. Uh, here it is the September, what, September 10th. So, um, Still, no no rain has, has dropped in the last few weeks. Uh, I've mentioned a few t a few previous videos. We're about 16 inches for the year, and we're usually about 40 inches total. So we are definitely probably at least 15 inches behind for this time of year. As a result, the pastures have just not grown back. So I've had to stock up on hay, which is brutal this year in the drought. You know, you gotta, you gotta buy additional hay. The fields aren't producing as much. The cost goes up, which is just kind of a double whammy. So uh, we've got a lot of ragweed growing in. So I've uh, been hesitant to even cut the ragweed just because we've been so dry and everything's kind of burning up. So let me show you these pastures real quick. So this is where we've been storing some of the hay. I've been slowly moving it around the ranch, placing it into some of the different pastures, prepping for winter. Um, you know, we've not grazed this in a little while. There's some, there's a little grass here, but you can see it's pretty brown. Now some of this is brown from it being tore up from when they delivered the hay. But if you look out there, good amount of ragweeds are growing up. We actually grazed this front pasture and we've just had nothing, nothing coming back with, with no, no moisture. Now tomorrow, they say we have a 50% chance of rain and the rain totals have been going down, down, down. Initially, we were gonna get about a half inch of rain. Now they're calling for 0.15 of an inch. So it's just really been, been brutal. Here's the front yard. Mostly in shade, gets a ton of shade, but you can tell I mowed it probably three weeks ago and it's just starting to kinda of get crispy and, and burnt up. So anyhow, starting to get prepped for winter time here as it's right around the corner. Well, good morning to you. We are here on a nice, cool Monday morning here. Going to head out kind of early here and check check on the heifers. Um, we've got three heifers that are supposed to give birth here in the next, I don't know, could be a couple days, could be today, 
could be a week, you never really know. But um, heading out early, noticed that 759J looked like she was getting close yesterday. So given that their heifers want to check out, uh, run out to the field and make sure that they're, they're doing well. So up and early, checking them late, checking them early. I'm going to make sure there's no issues. So let's go. It might be a little hard for you guys to see, but as I was driving out to go find the herd, driving by these calves, they were laying down, and I was hoping I wouldn't see any moms up here. Um, we've got them right across the driveway here behind this hot wire, but here's 4907. Uh, I noticed yesterday the other two moms were starting to kind of not hang around as much, but 4907, she's she's hanging, hanging tough. You all right, Mama? Yeah, the light's kind of screwing her up. She's not sure what's going on. But she's got a real full bag, so I'm hoping that she, uh, I'm sure she's in a little bit of pain, but hopefully that'll start drying up. But yeah, she slept here all night. It's kind of sad, kind of sad you got to wean them, but. So I'm not sure where the herd is. I gave them a pretty big area, which I'm not real excited about as far as finding them. But I think the biggest thing is I want to make sure there's just, she's not in labor or struggling at all. So we'll actually walk down to when we drive the truck down and go see if we can't find them. All right, I'm getting down here the hill a little ways. Here's 4021. She's one of the mamas who's calves. Might as well not blind her. She's one of the calves that's there. He's one of the calves that's up in the pen. I see some herd eyeballs. Notice whenever I give them bigger spaces, they always tend to spread out quite a bit more. But we'll see if we can just come down here and get eyes on 759. And just make sure there's no, no activity, no issues. Yeah, she's just hanging out up there. Alright, we're down here in the field now, just right amongst them all. I don't know if the camera... Just picking up their eyeballs at all. You can see some of them. So pretty cool morning, which is great. Um, real cool morning. Smells like rain in the air. Now my weather app is saying 50% chance of rain this morning. So that gets me a little excited, but try not to get too excited because just yesterday it was showing... 50% chance of 0.1 so um, yeah try not to get too excited here but just trying to see if I can't find her but it looks like nobody's struggling and I don't want to get them too distressed and getting up so if I don't like getting blinded in their face but no one seems to be in distress so Here's 408. Hey, baby. Hey, mama. Oh, here she is. She's right here. Yep. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Good. Okay, heifer duty, heifer check is over. We'll head back on up the hill. So, like I said, it's supposed to rain today. We're really hoping for it. But we will just, just see. Coming up on one o'clock, ran over here to the ranch to check on the south poles. You can see how dry it is. This was uh, back of the field, it's been overtaken by ragweed. This is actually where we uh, had some heavy equipment coming through um, in the springtime, taking out a bunch of trees. And you can see how much weeds came back. So this part I mowed and it looks pretty, it's pretty burnt. But uh, I got a little green in here. But we'll check on these guys real quick. And I always like running over here and, and just checking on, making sure the calves are doing good and they're around. I gave them a big space. But th this I need to get my bush hog hooked up. Uh, I've actually been having it worked on a little bit. But I need to get this ragweed knocked down. Here's Nona, number 60. We'll walk over and say hi to Comanche.
Hey, come here, G. Good boy. I always just like giving him a little pet. So, we're getting a little bit of rain. Not real heavy. Just kind of spitting on us. But we'll take what we can get. That's for sure. So I've seen two of the calves. But this stuff's pretty thick, so they could be hiding in here pretty pretty easily. But everyone's just enjoying this day. They're loving it. Oh, there's a third calf, I see. He had his head down over there. So they're loving the cool weather and a little bit of the moisture. So hopefully we'll get a little, a little bit more. I think uh, I think they're calling for maybe three tenths of an inch this afternoon. You can see. I don't think the camera pick it up. You can see the ponds are getting a little drink. All the raindrops hitting it. But this hillside really has grown up with a ton of weeds after we had a lot of equipment coming in here and taking down a lot of these trees. So just more more pasture management. We gotta we gotta clean this up. Need to get better at bush hogging it maybe in uh, in June. But this year with no rain coming, I was a little nervous to even cut it. Didn't know what would happen if anything would even come back. I'm getting back to the home place from the ranch and I am relieved to see that 4907 is not sitting up here across from the calves. Uh, the other two mamas have not been up here very often and I think they're starting to kind of get the, get the idea of things but 4907 has been parked out here all morning so the calves are right here across the street or across the driveway here to my right and uh, I don't see her anywhere. She may have gone off to eat, but um, hopefully here we are. Monday, day day three. Start on Saturday morning. Day three. Hopefully they'll uh, she'll start. They're kind of down there in the meadow. I don't know if you can see them down there. But hopefully she'll start kind of moving on. So with that, I'm probably gonna end this video. So we're getting a little little rain here, a little spit. So great for the grass. Great for the moist. Great to have the moisture. So we'll take what we can get. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.